so it's here. I finally got my CPU, my processing unit. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now I just gotta put it together. Look at me. Woo! So, this is what I got. So, this little piggy goes in there. I gotta put this on top of it. Alright, so. Ta da! The 53600. Okay, I'm gonna bring you to the attention of that little flashy light. And you notice that there's no GPU, CPU, or no RAM. No GPU, nothing is connected. So this is a cold motherboard BIOS flash. You can see it has the flash stuff there. And this is the back. And you can see it has the button. So you can do a BIOS. Come on, come on. Work with me here, work with me here. Work with me. Alright. Bios flashback button. You can stop it. Okay, got a bios flashback button. So you can flash it back, so that's the whole point of it. So I spent a good three to four days trying to get that to work. And I was doing it right the whole time. What was wrong, what was incorrect, was the USB drive format. So. The specification for the USB drive format is FAT32. Everything new in Windows 10, if you look at the format, FAT32 is like a Windows 7 uh, format that they both still have. It's before NTFS, so it's older. So that was why nothing worked. And it looks like it stopped, it should reboot, so I'm just leaving it alone. CPU, so that's why the CPU light is on. So I'm just leaving it alone. It's gonna do its thing, it's gonna reboot, it's gonna have stuff. So FAT32 for the BIOS flash auto update for the BIOS. Flat FAT32. That was that was the whole issue. So now that I got that solved, I can put back the hopefully just put back the new CPU and go from there um, and update the, the peripherals and then I should be able to put in you know those components like the, the memory the RAM this stuff all that stuff can put back all back together all right so hands we'll have to wait and see all right, so I got most of the stuff done. I got it dark. So here you have it. You got the CPU in, got power supply, fan in, GPU. Got my RAM. I did bad boy in. I'm just gonna see if it just starts. I'll just be happy with it just starts. So let's see. Dun dun dun! Alright, and then I gotta delete, 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 delete. Alright. Got something. I'm going through something. Delete. 
Come on, Bios. You can do it. Is it F12? Delete, 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 delete. So anyway, this might take some time. So what happened was... I had to clear the CMOS again. Because the bad drive, hard drive, when it wouldn't load the windows. And I changed the CMOS for the boot. It just didn't work. So I had to not clear the BIOS, just the, the CMOS. And basically st start fresh, put everything back together. Uh, had to reboot a few times. Uh, but it just gave me the option to go back to default. So I went back to then. I got my screen back. So, um, so it kind of stays. So I got the HP DVD A. Um, I got me the A data. So I got my um, one terabyte SD card. Recognizes that. It remembers my memory again. Uh, physical memory cache size uh, 30 72 kilobytes, which is probably was the reason why that happened um, Never know um, But it works so all I have to do is um, Let it reboot and go from there <sighs> All right, so I got this mess under somewhat control. So the hard drive was the incorrect hard drive. So I got the correct hard drive that it should boot. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I neglected to put my one terabyte STD card in, so I put that in there, so that's good. Um, so I'll do a BIOS with that first before I let it go into um, the actual reboot. Uh, look at the memory one more time. Um, the NVIDIA graphics card is not downloaded, I don't believe. Um, it should have been because I had this set up with another i5 computer. So, actually, no, it wasn't i5, it was a Pentium, a dual. Pentium dual. So, I had pretty much everything set up on the other motherboard, which was an Intel, and this just happens to be a b450 tomahawk uh, version one so i had to go get the bios for this particular motherboard it just says uh, b450 tomahawk and then you go into those bios updates and they need to be fat 32 for the all the components off the motherboard to do a bios update which worked yay that worked that you know then i had to make sure i had the uh, the chip worked um, the chip worked, but I had to shut up. Uh, luckily, it shut down automatically. So that test worked because it overheated. So it's not supposed to burn out the chip. So I had to wait till the chip to cool down. Put the fan and uh, the heat sink back together. Um, so little by little, it kind of came back to life. Uh, so it rebooted-ish and then caught the hard, and I put the hard drive back in. I got the BIOS and So everything should be good. So, um, yeah. So with a little bit of ambiance, let's see what happens. Oh, I gotta turn the power on. I gotta turn the power all the way on. Gotta put my graphics card, plug that back in. So I put my graphics card back in, turn the power on. So got okay, graphics card, that stuff. All right. These Okay, if it doesn't blow up, all right. And then I gotta press delete, 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 delete to get to the, the BIOS over here. It's cycling, so it's booting. 
Okay, so I went to uh, system status, got the advanced, so I got my memory, I'm not doing any overclocking right now, no flash, no security, and my boot order's done, I saved an exit, so I got everything going, so I'm going to save changes and reboot, save configuration, and yes, Let's see what she does. Dun, 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 dun. What are you doing? What are you doing, beautiful lady? So I have the Arsenal Gaming. I saw that. Alright, I'm going to start Windows normally. Now this is a Windows 7 setup, it's just a hard disk, so it should, hopefully it should just go on. Hopefully. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's just start a repair. All right, we'll get back to this. All righty, so we got system language. We got somewhere. We have gotten somewhere. So let's see, language. Um, let's try English. All right, we got English. Okay. HP DVD A not uh, present system information. All right, cool, 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 cool. So I guess from here we just do the bio stuff. But we got this far, right on. So I'm gonna just select some devices, and we'll go from there. All right, so I got reboot. Okay, reboot, select proper boot device, select it and press the key. Alright, so we'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. It's got a blue light. No signal. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, it's trying. It's trying. It's trying something. Arsenal Gaming. Reboot and select proper boot device or insert a boot media. Select the device. Press the key. Ha! We got life! Better than nothing. Arsenal Gaming. Woohoo! We don't know what that is, but we're working on it. Okay, I had to pause a bit. This bad boy did that thing and that thing, so I had a CPU problem. So nothing's really going bad. I got no LEDs warning, so my fan is going. Uh, might not got no signal to any of the monitor. But that's okay. This thing works. See, that works. That works. Uh oh, we got life. I got no era LEDs on. I got color. And 
and it changes colors. So I'm halfway there. Alright, halfway there. I'm getting there. Okay, trial number two. All right, so I just got the mouse just came out. I'm pressing, okay, the cut keyboard just came out. I got light, pressing delete. See so I can get BIOS up. Delete, 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 delete. No input. Alright, it says it's getting ready. So what I had to do... Is basically get the CD and uh, repair and reinstall the windows. So that's where we're at. Doing stuff. I still gotta get the driver for the GPU, the sound, or other stuff. So, standing by. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? I'm gonna reboot several times. Conquering the battlefield. What else are you doing? Just a moment. Alright. United States. Just a moment. U.S. I'm going to skip that. Drivers for it. You do this PC. We hold that up. Just checking for problems. Let's see what's gonna go happen next. And it's not disrepair. I think this the, the program is not set up to run that much uh, DDR and uh, that much RAM and that much uh, GPU. So I'm going to have to put the other, I'm going to have to start with the new, um, it's a rebuild anyway, so I'll put in the, the OS from scratch and just redo it, but then I'll just put it in another uh, drive. Now I'll start from that, that don't work. So it's booting. I'm just seeing it's gonna boot from the drive. Oh. So as far as downloading and speed, this is connected to the hardline and it is fast. So I'm running a 1050 Ti NVIDIA GPU, which I haven't even configured yet. Um, so this is probably just the MSI the DDDR uh, RAM doing all this, and the, the GPU, the, the 5 
3600 standard. So it's 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 clocking. Look how fast it's going. All right, so we'll see how it happens. Got the graphics driver going in, so uh, it's increased the uh, resolution. Play settings. So it went up to 1440 to 900 recommended, so probably do better than that. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Finish, close. All right, close. Set up. She has this code 42, it's just killing me. Okay, so this is the new setup. So I haven't started putting this up yet. So this is my MSI B450 with a Ryzen 5 3600 has 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have a Zotac GTX 1660 GPU. So not the R REX type, RTX type. Uh, I got my Yeti microphone, my standard USB 1080 HD camera. And I haven't loaded Arena yet. So I did this for another game um, that can't be named. But that'll come up later down the road, I guess, <clears throat> eventually. So I am downloading Arena. Now, the apples and oranges of this. I have one, two, three, four, five things going on at the same time. This thing ain't even breaking a sweat. Um. Uh, I, I clicked on OBS and it snapped up. I clicked on Arena, it snapped up. So I'm gonna okay and agree and I'm gonna see how long it takes to load Arena. So this is from the web page. So here we go. So is it loading? Alright, so Magic Installer is supposed to be already opening, right? Oh, it is. It's right here. Yeah. Alright, so here it is. Next. So, you should be able to see. So, I have this game, art game going on. Um, which not me named. And I got OBS, of course. The online stuff. So next, Arena, and it should, now this is a full load of the new game and new kind of, I mean, so from the beginning, from scratch, never been on this computer before, never been on this drive before, um, usually it takes a while, so it is 10.01 p.m., this, I've, I've seen this take I had to go to sleep and wait for it to uh, load the next, like the rest of the night. Um, so let's see how fast. And it's not hardline, it's on Wi Fi. Um, so that's how fast it's going there. So I'm going to help it out by doing this. And I'm just going to close that window and close that window free up the bandwidth and I don't need this open anymore so and go back to that. Close that so now we're just back to arena and look how much faster it's going so the 3600 is a 6 core 12 thread Less than three minutes, this thing loaded up. Four minutes. And this is just like the regular one-time download for the card uh, 
inventory. Uh, that looks like it might take five, five or six minutes. I can edit it out if it takes longer. So, this is what I got. So, so this is a new computer and I don't have any of the inventory in yet. And it's never been loaded with Arena before, so uh, this is all the band cards. Code of Familiar, Escape the Wild. Cards I mentioned. I mean, they were good idea cards. I mean, you gotta make powerful cards to make the game fun, even if it's just for a little bit. Um, like a six six three three mana cost six six. Yeah, that can escape for four. Yeah, you know, with blue cantrips all over the place. Yeah, that comes out fast. I don't know what they would think with Oko. Oh man, not too bad. But the landfall was like unreal. Uh, if you just take out the landfall from this creature, you'd be fine. Okay. And historic, yeah. Yeah, Agent of Treachery, that was a fun card to play for a while. Okay. So this is for the champions. And Yurion is still kicking butt. The ETB effects. Alright, so. I don't even know where to start. I don't know even where to start. Alright, so. So I'm gonna go with my standard deck and select deck. It still should be there. Doing my Nordic Forge. And look at the color. Look the the it's so what I'm looking at really is the the lag if there's any lag in the cards in the see like that was like a little glitchy but you know El Cid. All right, so going through here looks pretty good. And I go first. Blazing Bali. All I need is uh I don't have them but. Good combo to have. Um, there's a board wrap. I just I kind of discovered that by accident. Uh oh, another three three champion. All right. Pass. What are you gonna do with him? No, you know what? I'm gonna wait because if he has. I mean, Robert the Rich, my turn. I might be able to get away with it. Um, what's that on another 1-1? One, one? If not, I'm kind of screwed anyway. What you rating? Whenever kids you control with power 2 or less. Oh, okay. Oh, he's not gonna be happy. He is not gonna be happy. Um, I got no land, so I'm kinda screwed. Um, so I'll rob her to rich him again. Um, Yeah, I'll be worth it. I don't think he's gonna block with those. He is? I got rid of one of his lands. No? Just a bombardment? Got you with your infuriate. Oh man, I can't do anything with this thing. Alright, so I'll do that for now. Cancel. Stop blazing body. We'll be happy.
can't. I could use the bombardment. He would have been. He would have had a, a good thing with the bombardment. Are you, are you haste? Yeah, you're haste. It's okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, but you're not haste. So, waste of a. You gotta be kidding me. As long as you don't got haste, I'm, I'm pretty good to go. I can keep up. Well, that was until just a second ago. Kidding me? Well, that's what I need. I need other land so I can just put something down. So if I can see an attack with two, 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 and I can put that bombardment down, that'd be nice. No, wait, bombardment, no. Two, three, three, four, five, five. But I gotta ember cleave something, right? Technically. That's that's three, no matter what, right? So that's three. Four, five, six, seven. I have to end the creed. Next. Alright, so I'll do this, right? Stop you. Good game. Love and yeah. Give me some love. And do the hate thingy. All right, there you go. Good game. Auto pay. I need to get more of these Magdas. Cause that really saved me. That saved the whole game. Platinum tier two. All right, so. The computer build worked well. Everything looked good. Um, your battlefield. Everything is smooth. Oh, the colors are vibrant. They look HD to me. No uh, thing. Um, in fact, the Caldeen pack opening. Blue white? Got a god. Right on. Right on. Got a god. So I guess this goes with that one trickster that I don't even have one of those cards yet. Alright, so hope you guys enjoy it. The new computer. Till next time, ciao.